Hey guys, welcome to a brand new game. We're having a look at Nova Drift. First off, I've got to say thank you very much to Chimera Studios for giving me this free CD key because you know that's how this works. Game keys, we call them now. They're not CD keys, sorry. Thinking back to terms for seven years ago. But anyway, Nova Drift. It's a great little top down space shooter game. I'm enjoying it very much. I had a blast on it last night. Uh, it was great. I had a, a great fun. Uh, you can see I've got a few unlocks. I'm actually going to open a danger zone because when I just went as it was, I ended up like blasting out half an hour when I I didn't even know what was going on and that's too long for this video so we're going to turn on a more challenging mode let's go for it okay so on this little ship here as you can see down there it says to rotate with the left and right mouse button uh, sorry the left and right keys i do not recommend that i recommend using the mouse it's much much more controllable you've got a for thrust and s for fire and you just kind of move around and try and defend thyself from these asteroids and ships. Almost straight away, you can see once we've taken one out, we can press space and we get to upgrade and we get to change our gear. Now this is almost the entire game loop already demonstrated, but don't think that that means it's boring. It just means that it's like nice and casual and you can get a, a real wide scope on what's going on. I'm gonna go for Flak, Railgun, Salvo. I'm gonna go for Salvo. I've played with all of these already uh, in my various game modes, so that's pretty good. Uh, and yeah, we're just gonna take that, thanks. Uh, okay, and away we go. Well, what are we going to fire here? We are just firing out a screaming death. That is amazing. You can see there's a weapon count down below. Uh, and I think if we just do it like this, that's cool. This is the first time I've used Salvo. Um, so it's pl pr pretty cool. Uh, use the others, as I say. Uh, the the uh, boss progression has been the same every time I've played through. So it should be nice and easy for me just to... Uh, make my way through here. I was expecting to have already got another level up by now, but here we go. Now we get to pick the type of ship that we want. Uh, so first off, we pick our weapons, and now we pick our ship. I've gone for quite a wide display on the weapon, so I don't, uh, can't imagine that I'm really going in for, like, hole breaking or anything like that. So let's go for an assault. Um... Improve, it's fragile, improved weapon speed, velocity, and rate of fire. Fragile doesn't actually sound that great, but I've also leveled up again, have I? No, no, that's just some, um some ui from the last level hanging around so now we just kind of like float around i try and spend uh, put as much distance between me and the bad guys as possible so that i can go around and make sure that i can dodge uh, if you're used to like the 2d newtonian plane this game should be nice and simple to you i have been flying around in games like this since literally the 80s so I can quite easily fly around. As I say, it kind of rep, uh, it kind of reminds me of Asteroids, you know, one of those really first starty games uh, back in the day. So it's 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 a game that's really the 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 gameplay loop is really baked into the game of consciousness. Okay, we get to pick what well, type of shield now. We've done weapons, we've done the craft, and now we do the type of shield. We can either reflect, we can warp, or we temporal. I've not done temporal, so let's do that. I first done reflect, and let me tell you, that is definitely the one that I recommend. It turns you into like a semi-solid sphere and you can just bounce off of stuff but we're gonna go for the temporal shield i don't know how that works or what it does or anything uh every time that we play i play this it's been a different game style so i mean that's definitely something going for this so far despite the fact that you know it is a very familiar loop uh everything is indeed fresh every time you play okay just t t going through and taking out a few of these bad guys before i choose the next level up so once you've chosen your weapon your um your ship and your shield you get to then start choosing how you modify those things you can see there's you've got this like flower arrangement to go around and pick i think i'm gonna go for the magnitude there might be a thing or targeting let's go for targeting because if you get uh, enough of the level ups the targeting and volleys and stuff like that you can start working towards like homing missiles and then you end up just kind of flying around whilst pr pressing on to the uh, the fire button uh, and trying your best not to, uh, to to dodge stuff rather than to hit. But at the moment, I kind of have to consider how I fire stuff. Already in with the upgrades. Like I say, it's a very, very high-paced game, and I actually quite enjoy that about it. I'm going to go for another round on the volley. So one thing you might notice is that this is actually part of the same tech tree as the targeting that I went for last time. Each each of these mods comes with its own little like four-stage tech tree, uh, and they kind of they all stack down the side here. So don't think that when you start taking on one of the other ones you're actually having to like select your choice i will be able to get homing stroke as well at some point or at least that's what i managed to do last time okay let's get going again fire 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 he's gonna fire something big at me now uh, and already we're in for the next upgrades that is a crazy but we're just gonna try and take this guy out first it's uh, always a bit of a time before uh before i want to level up 
because like I I generally tend not to want to level up mid mid boss, which is probably like a bad bad play on my front. But uh, I, I I prefer it if I can break it down into individual units. All right, coverage seems a great, and we got some serious serious incoming black, but it's no problem. And just like that, most of the stuff has already been taken care of. I want to get rid of that blue guy because I know from experience that I have troubles with him. Uh, and then we come in for another mod. I'm going to grab some some drones. You can see suddenly we've got a whole bunch of other uh, buttons that we need to learn. Uh, no big troubles. It's just. It's up there in the corner, and now you can see that I've got the R drone on the go. Uh, we should be able to redeploy him if necessary when he dies, and also uh, build up a whole a whole little army of drones. You can have up to five different types of drones, I believe, though I might be misspeaking mis there. It might be more or less. I do not know for definite. I just know that they give you access to the five keys. So one thing I've not, not talked about really is the way that the map wraps. Uh, it, it's pretty standard. It's pretty standard. You go off the top, you come onto the bottom. Uh, I, you can use that very to your great uh, strategic... Oh, oh, you can use that to strategic excellence if you want because the bullets don't go around the outside. Oh, I went into the black hole. I was really trying to avoid that. So black holes turn up. That is a thing. And then you end, you don't actually end up dead. So that, that's kind of the main thing about that is you end up in this weird little void space that is elsewhere. Uh, you might have noticed that the, uh, the background has kind of been... Uh, how do we say continuous it's kind of told a little story going on in the background uh, I'm gonna go with blast radius that sounds good or do we want to go for more regeneration or faster thrusters double team your ally oh, focus fire on the same place where you are let's go with that I've not had that one before um, and this now tells the story of inside the black hole maybe I don't know exactly I just know that you know it didn't didn't kill me so that's that's something to bear in mind evolution your allies can uh, your Ally constructs become stronger as you do. That also sounds pretty good. We'll take that. Seems to uh, seems to be taking out the asteroids for me as well. How about that? Is there anything else we need to? Oh look, look, look! There was bad guys off the edge of the screen there, and I took them out before they even got on on the screen. That's that's good. Oh, I've lost track of my mouse just a little bit. That's fine. We can do that. Sometimes that happens when I uh, when I drift off the side of a screen. Sometimes I, I lose track of where my mouse is, or when I'm when I am myself up near the side of a screen. I, that's another time that I lose track of where I am but you know these are these are all gameplay issues to to deal with okay let's go with kinetic boost global damage increases as your speed does ah, it sounds great but let's go with blast radius instead I don't know if this is a thing that's actually any good I think this is one of the new ones that I've open unlocked so that should be cool uh, how is my health and such doing it's down the bottom you can see my shields are going fine all right nice 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 uh, for some reason, I just decided that I was going to fly into that little projectile there. Don't worry about the bad gameplay decisions. They, they just happen. They just happen. So uh, that little um, that little trail of stuff that I picked up there is actually a cargo drop. Uh, when you uh, finish for the first time, or at least when I finished for the first time, I got a... Oh, look, we got a boss here. Uh, I got a, an unlock for new bosses and stuff to open, and one of those was a cargo drop. Okay, uh, press space to upload again. Huge explosives! I'm about the huge explosives. Let's also get rid of that. Okay, we've got a little bit of dodging to do here. It shouldn't be too bad. We've been doing some damage, if you can see at the top there, but it's not been particularly overwhelming amounts of damage. I'm not sure if going into here uh, does more damage. You would hope so, right? You would hope so. I'd like to be... At Ooh, let's move out of the way here. I don't know if that's going to be like beam of death. It's always beam of death. Why would it not be beam of death? So this is one of the bits where going across the edge of the screen really comes in handy. Uh, where you can just kind of dodge and move around like this. Ah. <laughs> uh, what have we got? Vulnerability detected. Beautiful. I could do with the vulnerabilities. I'm pressing fire instead when I mean to press thrust. No big troubles, but I mean, you know, it's the, it's got the best, is it? All right, let's do a little bit of an upgrade here and have a look. Weapon. No, I'm, I'm, I'm good with all these. Let's try the volley. Oh, what's this? Rupture. Enemies rupture when destroyed, damaging other nearby targets. That sounds pretty useful. Let's go with that. That's a new one. Uh, okay. Whoa! No, 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 no. Let's not just drive over the top of the laser beam. Ah, bouncing off the side. Not good. Okay, all right. Here we go. If we could just... We could just keep rolling. Our shields need to recharge, um, but that shouldn't take too long. I love the fact that my drone is, like, deep inside there. That's that's great. Hopefully he's doing the big damage. Uh, okay, let's fly off the side here to come back over this way. Okay, I thought that I could explode those plasma balls by shooting at them. Turns out I am wrong. 
Uh, it's not not the first time I've been wrong in my life, guys. I'm afraid I have to have to come forward and admit that. I, I know, crazy as it sounds. Um, I feel like building up the salvos might be more of a plan. I wasn't really paying attention to what was coming at me. I was more paying attention to what I'm shooting at. That was a crazy little orbital thing that I made happen with my oh, with my rockets there. They seem very reluctant to go inside at the moment. Whoa, okay, boss fights are a winner. Can we just kind of get in there and... and mess him up there we go he is messed up we leveled up we got some re-rolls so re-rolls are something that i never use let's use it now just to be oh, do i want any of these do i want any of these i mean this looks fun what is this this is the problem is these always look fun why would i want to use these 12 re-rolls you start with three i don't know where i got the rest from um why why would i want these when i can do like these guardians this this sounds like much more fun and, that, and now we shoot like this, and hopefully everything just dies. Okay, what's this? Look at this guy. He's, like, as big as I am. That's that's cool. That's cool. Uh, so I didn't really spec into drones last time that I played. It was all about the weaponry. Um, which, you know, is generally a good play. We'll see how this one works out this time, though. Uh, so, that's one thing. Many, many different styles of play here available. I love it. That is, that is great. Uh, also... Pretty, pretty, pretty good play whilst going. Like I've played a lot of games like this where you, you know you get bored very quickly, um, but this is not one of those. Look at my rainbow missiles! Look at my rainbow missiles! Uh, also, I had to dodge some stuff there. Thankfully, I was moving in the right direction when it started, so that was cool. I saw something, something bad coming for me. But nanotech restoration, your ally construct regenerate health over time. Okay, let's, oh, let's get away from this thing. <laughs> That looks like that kind of hurt me. I think we're good. We've got another upgrade ready to go. Wow, let's have more drones. Uh, E. There we go, we've got two drones. Two drones, beautiful. Singularity detected. Let's just keep out of the way of that. I often wonder whether I could just slingshot my way around it. Uh, but, you know, it's, it's just something to dodge. I still get points for that as well. The fact that, you know, these guys are just dying. It, it's great. It's great. Homing strike. That's a good one. I like that one. Now we just fly this way and all my all my missiles go for him anyway. That is quite the attack that guy's got there. It's a good job that, you know, I just kind of face things down in front of us. Um, the fact that my homing strike was steering all my missiles off of target there was a little annoying. Uh, and we're bouncing around quite happily off of all the targets here uh, a little bit worried about the fact that i've got no shield on the go we're at wave 55 oh yeah loving it loving it i can't remember what wave i got up to last time uh but it was i don't know quite a number quite a number all right here we go trying to destroy some more stuff so far it's going quite well we're just kind of like flowing around uh let's get some more volleys or some magnitude magnitude sounds like a good way to go let's go let's go with magnitude because you know who doesn't want bigger and better weaponry uh need to dodge here um, is my health regenerating my health is regenerating i've got a feeling that I've, as long as i just carry on like this i'm not likely to suffer any bad consequences it's going to be like a serious boss or i'm going to fly into a, a black hole again or some something silly is going to happen rather than anything serious though that said this this guy is pretty pretty serious let's uh, let's just keep keep away from his line uh, direct line of fire shall we Oh man, that was that was a laser and a half. So this guy's a boss. <laughs> Didn't realize that we were actually in a boss fight until just now. Um, and there we go. Woo! Tree unlocked. Mobility mod unlocked. That's the thing. Every time we do this, there are some more unlocks to go. In fact, should we go and have a look at all these extra lock unlocks that we've got here? Oh yeah, let's put my name in. I did There's one where I didn't put my name in. Well, look, we did pretty well. We did pretty well. So the another thing that I want to show you just before we wrap up into the unlocks, down all the way down here, we have the stuff that we started with. This is just like your base equipment that you, uh, you get going with. And then look at all of this stuff that unlocks. Here's the mods. I'm not sure what the super mods are about. I've never found any, but you know, here's all the different features you can get. You can pick up extra rerolls. There's the cargo trailers that I was talking about. More challenge modes to come. Uh, the different types of gear that you can pick up. And even if you go in and have a look at the start, you can see there are things here going, hey, this is still coming. We've got plans for this. This game is going to be expanding greatly. But with that, I'm going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, ladies and gentlemen. This has been Nova Drift. I have enjoyed it greatly. I hope that you have too. If you have, give us a thumbs up, and I'll catch you guys at the next one. Bye!